Welcome to the second episode of Gypsy Diaries taking place in Florida. This part of my journey, I've learned some of the most difficult things about love and myself included. I realized that the dynamic of my initial relation to this person took an unexpected turn during this time. And of course, there have been ups, there have been downs, but I can honestly say regardless of any outcome, I always come out with a change in growth to show for it, but not too much. I'll let the rest of the vlog tell it. So this is love. So this is I've been bamboozled. I'm tipsy, but I ain't stupid. Come on, Al. You sure is disrespectful. As long as you know. No, oh, that's me. Hell uh, yeah. And you was like, I already got some. Okay. Well, you been the way. Jump on, jump on. It wasn't on purpose. Girl, you're fine. Not gonna lie. I just wanna make you my, 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 yeah. What you gonna do about it? Well, let's pretend we stay just friends. Would you find some other guy with the night ends? What you gonna do about it? Don't mind crazy looks, but um, I'm back out here in Florida now. With my friend. They don't want to be seen today, but yeah, we're here at this little spot. This little, uh, <laughs> this little bar here, I want to be seen. It's too hot for this head. I regret bringing it. And I need to secure my weed because I'm thinking of that water. And the ocean water be beating my ass. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting for my drink. I got a blue margarita. No, I did. I got a blue margarita. And you got some uh, strawberry lemonade, like a child. This is literal tail. It, it's weird. It don't. It tastes good, but it don't it feel like. Because people be like, oh, just like cheese. It's not. It's a difference. I feel like you know how fish skin easily kind of fall apart. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's still of that family, but it's more <laughs> solid like chicken. If that makes sense. Not my pinkies in the mm. All right. Take two. What'd you say? Give two. No, I did. Is you scared to show the feet? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What time is it? Oh. I just want to be late in case we have You gonna show your outfit? You gonna show your outfit? Yeah. You wanna take a picture? Shut up! Now he turned it or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's all OTD. That's what it is. Let him see the drill. See? It's all you. You got a big screen. I thought this was gonna get it. What'd you say? You ain't gonna get it. Let's take it. It's Yeah, y'all. We here at the King Tut um, Museum thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a real experience. I hope so. I read the reviews. What did the review say, bro? What? I read it to after the fact. Was it nothing? Art. Art one. 
That's cute. Hi. Excuse me. Can we? Uh, okay. Are we allowed to Where take our go? drinks through there? They have to come in the cups, though. Okay, that's so, good. And then if you get another drink, it'll actually be less because mm -hmm. you already have your cup. Got you. Okay. What were you thinking, my dear? I also have champagne. I have wine, so I could do like mimosa or poinsettia, which is cranberry. Can I do a mimosa? Yeah. Thank you. Comes with I know. Top. That's cute. Don't throw it away. Like, there's some people who like, oh, throw them away. And I'm like, no, you can. Thank you. It's like souvenir, too. You no, know what for I mean? real. So, That's cute. Um, all right. $19, oh, my dear. Okay. I'm supposed to scan it. You can tap it up there or, yep. Okay. Perfect. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Thank you weren't supposed to catch me in the egg again another day. No, I already did. <laughs> no, you I, didn't. I, I swear I did. But when I come out, she can be right over. Stop. I, I had to think about it. I already knew. Hi, hello, uh, day three. 
three, four in Florida. I don't know, but at this point, it's just an evident that did I say that right? Inevident. Yeah, it's an evident inevitable that's the word it is inevitable that i will clog somebody's toilet that's what i'm trying to say yeah it's inevitable like i can't help it anywhere i go or visit i'm gonna clog a toilet yeah and it's not even the amount of poop it's the tissue that's the problem because like i gotta line the water with tissue because i i don't need that splash back so if if you know what i'm saying if you get it you get it. if you don't don't but uh yeah today we're going to i was gonna say acai lounge what we're gonna get acai bowls for breakfast or brunch but yeah it's gonna be a good time i saw their stuff on doordash and I wanted to go there in person because their food looks amazing. So, that being said, with that being done, I will see y'all when we get there. We out here at 20. Yeah, she want to be like me. No, I have my shirt on first. Don't do that. <laughs> we are at Publix looking for this acai uh, spot. Watch it be inside. Exist. Watch it be inside. Bakery? You want a sandwich from here? You want something from uh, Delhi? <laughs> Don't exist. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> they let me here. Well, it was probably here before Publix. It said we right up on it, too. <laughs> oh, we on it? Yeah. yeah we it. That's crazy. I've been bamboozled. And it says open. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> where y'all open at? <laughs> I'm over this. We fa I found something. <laughs> so you gonna lie? You, you, found it? you found it? Okay. He was browsing on the side and there it is That's under a funny. different name. Acai bowls. Fill it up, Mr. Stew. Y'all it's like 112 degrees out here. I want 14. That's not even capital. The regular is looking good. Together. What time did we start? It's 4 I said we started like 3 o'clock. 253 o'clock, yeah. Who knows, but we went in a rush. And I'm gonna do the finishing touches. What are you mumbling? What do you have to say? I hope you put it in the center. Okay. Bro, stop playing with me. Putting it off. Awesome. Okay. I'm not playing. I don't want it to like snow. 
Folks, no? My brother for So you got it? No. It took a while. We finna play. We finna play beer pong, huh? Stop cussing me out. She's a compulsive liar. What are you talking about? Don't talk to them. I'm talking to you. Don't people. talk to them unsupervised. What are you doing? Right. Compulsive liar. to the beach, right? It started raining. Now we're at the basketball court. Your tea's gonna rain again. We're gonna kick ass. You, uh, you gonna leave your phone in your seat? Look at it, rain already. You don't wanna do it cause the rain is cold? Is that what you said? <laughs> is that what you wanna tell the people? It's the rain on the windshield. Yeah, you, know, you gotta like a little tripod. Huh? You got a tripod? Yeah. You can put it under the shelf. Oh. Duh. Ugh, set y'all up right here. All right, boys and girls. My face looking crazy. I need to do a face mask. And my eyebrows all my nail. Okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day in the life of Simone Danielle. I'm gonna go to the mall, you know what I'm saying? He wanna beat me so bad. Nah, don't run right now. He wanna You wanna beat me, just say that. Huh? I'll get him a whole tour. Stop. <laughs> Stop playing with me. The 450 Matic something. 450 Matic something. Yeah, that's what it's called. I don't know. Called, I don't know my cars, leave me alone. It's a you big song. Your dream car. All black. All black. Yeah. Bro. Bro. We at the mall. I saw the chick that painted the black one. That chair? The yeah. bench? She uh, just graduated high school. That's she cute. Said she was going they to let her do it? Yeah. That's another cute. person did that. Her friend. And they did do that one. another group of kids did this. That's cute. You got a Charlie's. No, you're you're good. They got some cute. What's it called? You like those? You look like you like those. You sure is disrespectful. Gym. Yeah. That's what it say. As long as you know. I don't know who you talking to. Not me. Y'all, look at these pants. I like these. Except for this. It's kind of weird. But the pants in the window are sweaty. They don't have stuff in here for women, and the store is very sexist. Huh? Huh? I like the orange detail on them cargoes. Shut up. You don't keep saying that. I'm just, I'm 
looking for a 36. Oh, I'm tired of him being smart ass motherfucker. He got one of them. Let me find a shirt. A shirt to match with that? Yeah. Oh my god, that's how you shop? What? You shop by outfits? No, I'm oh. I was gonna say, that stressed me out. I just be buying stuff. <laughs> I don't know Stop the Shut up! I can touch stuff. That's cute. Compliment your brand. That's what I like. I really like this. And he tweaking. I like this one. And this one. With like a gold chain. No shirt underneath. That's, that's, that's a fire look. What? That? How many washes you think you're gonna get out of them? Don't wear it off. You probably gotta get it dry clean. It's very textured. I am. You really found one? I like this one. I like the tan one back there, but you said you already got a tan shirt. You can never have too many tan ones, though. Okay. Anyway. Ungrateful. I showed you the tan shirt over there and you was like, I already got some. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Stop talking to me. Stop talking. Stop talking to me. What color are you looking for? Any color. Give me something nice and tan. Fix your tongue. Fix your tongue. No, okay. You hiding the pants. I'll I, I be trying to Bro, you know these mm. pants is green. <laughs> it might have other details that compliment the shirt. Ain't nothing in that bitch but green. So what did you talk about? Silver. You got a little bronze right there on the button. Come on now. Leave me alone. Come on now. What the fuck about your attitude? Shopping for a man is so exhausting. Like, girls just be in and out. They already know what they want off real. But shop for a man. Y'all be the real divas. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just let you no, my no, hands are full. No, I'm not. My hands are full. <laughs> you really struggling. Stop. You look like you're trying to hand those to me. I was trying to let you see how it looks. Oh, I see it. Damn. Go ahead, here. <laughs> Cause you're not slick. Hey y'all, it's a new day. Um I am running errands. I need to get tampons. Cause I just started my period today. I need to get floss, water, tissue bath tissue because you know what I'm saying one thing about me I'm gonna use some tissue it won't feel bad about it at all I also need to get some um what else yeah mangoes yeah mangoes fruit in general but um I'm not gonna take you guys in here with me because too many people and I just I don't feel like dealing so yeah anytime I stay with somebody for like I don't know, a long period of time, and I feel like I've just been using a lot of their resources. I just feel the need to, you know, replenish that because I know I'm not the only one who contributed to using up those resources, but, you know, I, I played a part and I just want to, you know, they're just ways to show gratitude. And yeah, let me, let me re up for you, let me restock, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I'm finna go in here. Why? Okay. Anyway, yeah. I'm finna go in here and yeah, I need to get something to eat, but I'm not trying to spend all my money on fast food. So, yeah. They didn't have mangoes, but I got everything else, including wine. That was a must. But, um, yeah, I'm on my way to Chick-fil-A now because I deserve it and I really want some fries. Also, I never told y'all this, but it was so funny. Um, when I first got to this man's house, <laughs> why he had a bonnet on my bed? In my head, I was like, oh no, not this again. And it wasn't even that. It was just the fact that a bonnet on a man's bed, I low-key got PTSD. <laughs> Cause what you doing with a bonnet on your bed? But you got here, I forgot. So I guess it's yours. But yeah, um, I put it on and it was definitely his. Cause y'all remember that dude from, um, I don't think it was mush mouth. It was a dude with the pink mask drooping over his face. Yeah, that's how that was fitting on me. Yeah, one of them. But yeah, I'm on my way to Chick-fil-A. Very happy about it, very excited. And then once I get back to the house, we're gonna shoot some content for him and his brand. So I'm very, I'm really looking forward to that. He had me make some shoes. 
on his brand. And I was just, you know what I'm saying? I was just doing it for shits and giggles. Like, I didn't think he was actually going, you know what I'm saying? Post it and market it and all that and whatnot. So, I was a little nervous about that. He kept saying, submit the damn design. He was cussing me out to do it. And I was just like, wait, wait. So, yeah, that's the thing. I don't really know how this fashion designer stuff works, but you know what I'm saying? Call me Simone Danielle, the fashion designer. Um, apprentice, if you will. Like I said, I don't really know how all that works, so we will see. But yeah, I need a fill in. I never really showed y'all my nails up close. I kind of just seen it in passing. But these are my nails. I got an orange tip because orange is my favorite color, and I just wanted a pop of color. The last time I did my nails exactly like this was summer of 2021. So yeah. But okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride now. I'm gonna cruise. That's wild. This nigga just tried to kill me, y'all. He got a horseshoe hanging up above his door, and I almost died when it fell off. That's crazy. No, that's bad luck. That's none of my concern where your phone is at. Let me change the angle because niggas just. Anyway, so I bought some wine. Um, there's no bottle opener in here because alcoholics don't live here, but an alcoholic is visiting. I'm just kidding. I'm not an alcoholic, but you know. We love a good drink. And females, I'm talking to y'all. Don't y'all hate when y'all come in the house? What is he talking about? Get it. Anyway, y'all know how y'all be going to a nigga house and like they just be they be lacking what y'all got in y'all own houses, and it's like, bruh, step your cookies up. Come on now. Step your cookies up for they crumble. I'm just trying to get this damn bottle open. I gotta take this off the plastic. That lighter trick don't work where you gotta heat up this thing and the uh, cork pop out. <clears throat> that doesn't work. So we're not gonna be doing that here today. The last bottle that I opened, I accidentally had the cork stuck inside. So I had to um do this and pour it to get the cork out of it. It was, it was a real ghetto situation. But hopefully I can get it out today and there won't be any problems as such. So let's try. Okay, let's see. Hi Ginger. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Hi Ginger Snap. Hi Ginger Snap. Great can't hang under this. Anyway, what was I finna say? Oh, you got quiet. Y'all know what be like tricking me out. This nigga be sounding like my daddy sometimes, and that be scaring me. Like when he called my name from afar, he sounds just like my dad, bro. I'm like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> but yeah. Trying to get it open. Alright, here we go. The cork is so damn soft. I'm not trying to tear it open though, that's the thing. Okay. Your bit hungry is. What if I do garbage? No, no, no. Don't be trying to don't be trying to do that. Well, who, who's to say you're not going to be trying to do the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? This situation again. You know what? Life is short. Get you some pizza. You can fast the next two days. All right, then. Then be quiet. Shut up. 
Be obedient. Fast obediently. He doing a two day fast, and you know what I'm saying. He... Wow. Wow, he took it there. Then get you something else. Then get you something else. How about it? Niggas always want to talk stuff about the black mommy. <laughs> Stop following me. If y'all want to see Ginger. Oh, shit. She's scared of the camera. Hey, Ginger Snap. Here, here. She's scared. <laughs> Why are you scared of the camera, bruh? Come here. Come here. Bothering her. Where, where's your lighter? I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. No, I didn't. You put it away somewhere. You put it somewhere it don't belong. No, I didn't. You so disrespectful. That's why you sink. Huh? What? Have the same situation damn all right all right i already see what time it is okay i think i should just push it down and settle because that's fine that's what i'm gonna do just push it down and settle oh fuck it's, it's, it's Okay, thank you. I got it. Can you not come out here? What are you Can you not come out here? Shut up. Shut up. <clears throat> I got a call. 
Don't say that to me. It's not nice. I'm not an alcoholic. You didn't get that up. Fix it. I got the I got it up as best I could. Nah, you gotta keep getting that shit up. You're a fucking bully. I hate it here. Okay, so she's wide open. She's busted wide open. And now we're just gonna pour it in this cup. Likewise. Wait, let me make sure. Okay, yeah, she's open. Corks just inside. The wine is still drinkable. Okay. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. If you want to keep your life intact, don't invite me over. As y'all can see, <laughs> that was crazy. That was real crazy. How do I close this? I don't know how to close this. Do I bend it back, forward? How do I close this? So now to pre preserve the wine. I have to suffice with a paper towel plug, yes. I'm gonna try one more thing. See if I can get it off with some Dawn. This nigga hate me. He hated me. Okay, doing something. I'm gonna take your egg out on the game. I'm about to take it out of your egg. <laughs> I did. I just did. I haven't tried the Dawn um, dish soap. It came out the counter in the cabinet fine. It's, it's just the paint. It wasn't on purpose. That's really funny. It wasn't on purpose. Stop. <sighs> okay. So, I spent a lot of time journaling at this point in my journey. And I'm so glad I didn't neglect myself that opportunity and the space to do that. Because it was literally a way for me to continue being self-aware and overanalyze myself, my thoughts, emotions, however I was feeling and everything under something like that. And one of these days, I literally sat there and wrote 10 pages. I had to let it out, but for real, <laughs> I was going through it, geez. Anyway, um, I was very emotional during this trip and I pretty much wrote out how I was feeling every day or every other day. If something pissed me off or made me happy, I write about it, especially when I don't want to overload somebody else's mental with my own emotional state. Because in the past, I've had a really bad habit of, I guess, being intrusive with how I'm feeling. Like, my friend brought up a point to me, and I was asking her, how do I make my emotions known without running people away? Cause that happens sometimes and I, <laughs> I didn't want it to happen again so how do I do this because I'm finna I'm finna pop I'm finna pop so she was just like you know you have to make sure that they have the capacity to really hear you understand you and stuff like that take that in take that into consideration and things like that so I'm like okay cool so I took her advice and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah, that was that. Anyway, even though things didn't end up working out in a romantic way with this individual, I still felt no losses from this experience because I came here learning the exact lessons I needed to learn. And I talk more about situations like that in another video and I'm gonna leave it tagged up above in case you're <laughs> interested if the title intrigues you because that's exactly what it was but yeah like I was saying that's that's another thing just because things don't go as planned with people and relationships that doesn't mean it was a waste of time or they was wasting your time I wrote in my journal that I'm not afraid to be hurt anymore by potential love interest because that's that's the experience that they had for me and that's no loss on my end because if anything i now know what else to look out for and stay away from if i sense that in other people whatever the 
problem or red flag may be, I now know what to look out for. On to the lessons. I definitely want to talk about that. I'm going to share three because those are like the main three that I can identify. The first lesson I learned was that there's duality in love and that is sacrifice and fulfillment. Now, this may not be true for most, but that is what I received. Like that's the that's what I got out of the lesson that I learned. And a lot of times we don't recognize when love at its best shows up in our lives. But once we do and we start to realize all the changes and the sacrifices we may have to make for things and relationships to evolve we immediately fold we run yes um maybe because of fear or selfishness whatever the reason it's fine it's okay it, just as long as you're aware of what you're doing also as long as you're able to recognize that love will always show up for you even when you feel like you're not ready or you're not worthy of it you are worthy of it so just know that and also keep other people's feelings in mind as well, because if you're the type of person, <laughs> I think y'all know where I'm going with this, but if you're the type of person who is hmm, an escapist, if you will, when things get hard or things are scary or whatever, if, if things are just too intense for you and you just up and run or whatever, if you're that type of person, don't be involved with people who are trying to be serious because then you know what i'm saying then you may be wasting somebody's time knowing that you are how you are but if you are like that and you're truly genuinely giving this thing a try and whatnot and it still doesn't work out for you then kudos for you for trying a for effort you know but it's so funny because somebody told me I up and leave at the slightest inconvenience. And what about it? <laughs> what about it? But when I somebody brought that to my attention, I accepted it because it's not a lie. But like, y'all, hear me out. All right. I do that to protect myself. Like inconvenience is in a messed up situation. Just something that rubs me the wrong way or comes off as disrespectful to me as an individual or to the relationship we're trying to build things like that sometimes I feel like things are worth working through other times I don't feel like that and I'm not gonna put my energy into that so I'm gonna leave and it's only to protect myself it's not an act of malice revenge to get back whatever it's literally just me removing myself from that situation before I lose my peace of mind and that is one of the most valuable things to me so yeah the second lesson i learned i am overwhelmingly enough that is the second lesson i was having a conversation and i remember asking do you ever feel like you're too much but not enough at the same time and that question came from a place of limiting beliefs about myself and receiving love from others i always felt like i was emotionally too much for men which is why i decided to spend more time journaling and less time speaking but i felt that way because what i was shown or told in the past about myself and that that aspect of my life but when i asked that question out loud it's so crazy because my higher self literally came through with the divine interruption and said who told you that and even if you could put a name on it, who said it's true? And that was like a, well, butter my biscuit and call me Samantha moment. Because I was so shocked. Like, bro, what? You dead ass right. Who told me to believe that? Anyway, it didn't feel true till I kept repeating it to myself and eventually believed it. But another reason many of us, including me, kind of shy away from speaking emotional or mental truths is because the space doesn't feel safe and that's based on past relationships or people we currently deal with and how they've responded to what we try to honestly communicate to them like it's one thing to respond defensively but it's another to try and argue with me about how I'm feeling or manipulate the space to change or 
invalidate what's being communicated. And I, I hate stuff like that. The third and final lesson I learned from this trip is to take it slow. Anything new can be exciting. And we have the habit of instantly wanting things that add to our happiness in certain moments of our lives. I know I do. But to be specific, when we're building relationships, it actually is important to take it slow and not speed things along because you're in the heat of a moment, a few good moments. And speaking of moments, um, sometimes we only fall for the moments we share with people and not the actual person. I've learned this lesson a couple years ago and I ended up hurting this person because I wasn't aware of the difference between loving someone versus loving the moments we shared. So please y'all let's let's be careful with that one please <laughs> but it may sound so mundane when you hear take it slow or stay friends when you're excited and ready to you know press on the bigger and better things with somebody but it's it's so important y'all it's so important um because when you take it slow you get to see how a person is on a day-to-day -day basis even if it's you know the beginning phase and everybody on their best behavior but I guarantee you some of the true qualities about a person is leaking out somewhere and all you got to do is just pay attention so you won't walk into relationships blindly. But yeah, overall, the trip was good, even though things didn't work out in a romantic way. The trip was still worth my energy, it was worth my time. It was an experience that was worth it and I'm so grateful I'm grateful. Honestly, y'all, I thought I was going to have to scrap this entire vlog just because I was in my head a lot, but it brought me back to what I said at the beginning of this entire series, and that is me uncensoredly sharing certain aspects of my life. So I'm going to hold myself to that, and I'm not going to scrap the vlog. Y'all going <laughs> to... Y'all gonna see what y'all got to see. And then it got real confusing down the line because I actually lost the damn SD card with this entire vlog on it. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's a sign from God. Don't post that. <laughs> like, <laughs> but then I found it. So it was like, okay. But yeah, back to the video, y'all. Girl, this man's so nosy. He wanna see what I'm trying to look about so bad. But he think he's slick coming part of her. He think he's slick coming up in here trying to see what I'm doing. And you know what I'm doing. You good? You all hiding? Why you in here hiding? What you writing about? You talk shit about me, huh? Get your ass! Yeah, I'm exposing you. <laughs> he wouldn't put his dog in the back seat. He's mad because I won't sit in the front yeah, seat with this, this the big ass seat. dinosaur. Yeah, I ain't finna sit with this 30, <laughs> this 30 pound ass dog on my lap. I'm gonna be free when I'm riding. Mind your business. I'm talking to her. Boo! Boo! What's up? What's up, girls? Oh, yeah. Y'all check this set out. I ain't got no kids. Ha ha! It's about to be on. I got these bottles. Yeah, about to get turned up. And ain't nobody here to turn me down. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Y'all coming through? What's up? What's up? Hit a girl up. Let me know. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Hey. Hey. This is love. Mm -hmm. so
Till this is lost So <laughs> she said, wait a minute. <laughs> Hell no. What is that? Ew. Hold your fire. Oh, I got one on the eggs. So the same. Yo, I'm getting bit. Oh, look at this. Look at this fat ass mosquito bite. Hold on, focus. Look at that. Bro, only been outside for like seven minutes. You know that's me, right? You know that's me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And this little ex right here. Yeah. 